So, this is a bit irrelevant now, eh? Alright lads, welcome back to another video. This is obviously a wee bit different setup because I don't actually have my devoted camera woman today because Jen's a way to work. So, I'm left on my lonesome, so I've set it up a bit differently and I'm here to talk about the latest update in the managerial situation at Dunfermline. It's certainly a bit of a different footballing structure for us coming up and I'm kind of excited for it and I'm also confused by parts of it as well but I think it's going to be a new dawn for us and it's at least a breath of fresh air and that's what I'm looking at it as and 100% I'm going to get behind the new management team and here I'm going to talk about it now. So our new head coach is now Stevie Crawford obviously, we had a first team manager in Alan Johnson and we had an assistant to him in Sandy Clark. But now we have our head coach, first team coach in Stevie Crawford, his assistant will be Greg Shields and we have a technical support from Jackie McNamara and his company Concilium Sports. I think that side of it is more down to helping us evolve as a club and evolve the kind of structure of the club in this new structure we're going with. It's not necessarily a big role that's going to be filled by Jackie, etc. But it's obviously a role that we wanted to put into a new structure to kind of enforce the kind of changes that we're making and make it known that we are going for a completely new breath of fresh air rather than just going for the same kind of going down for the same line of managers and stuff like that. We're in a totally different line. We're getting manager and assistant manager or head coach and assistant head coach in Stevie Crawford and Greg Shields and then of course with bringing in a completely new different role to the club like technical support from Jackie and his company Concilium Sports it just as I said it, it forces home that point that we are looking for a lot of change at the club and I just think that it's that needed breath of fresh air that we needed after the last few months of this season really because it has been poor. I just finished watching the wee interview that Ross MacArthur did on the official club's YouTube channel and he basically said that whilst Alan did improve the club in a lot of different areas, he professionalised us and stuff like that, he did admit himself, Alan Johnson himself said that it is a results based business and if it comes down to it he knows that the results haven't been great this season and we've never really built up a head of steam in the league and that is the be all and end all of it. That is why this decision has been made to depart from Alan Johnson and whilst the conversations had been going on with Alan Johnson to eventually change the football and structure, this was probably the correct time to do it if we were going to do it and it's certainly an exciting time to be a Dunfermline fan to see three people now involved with the club in a coaching capacity or at least with Jackie's case at least involved in the club that previously played with the club and were successful with the club in previous times it obviously brings that sense of success obviously but a happy sort of feeling to the club and that connection with the fans and stuff like that Stevie Crawford obviously ex-player played fantastic for us in both these spells at the club and he scored a lot of goals etc. Greg Shields, a very popular figure. I didn't really know him much as a player because I wasn't around really that, at that point, didn't watch football at that point and certainly didn't watch Dunfermline but from what I've seen on social media so far and Ross MacArthur saying it as well, Greg Shields is a very popular figure within Dunfermline and in Ross's own words doesn't need any introduction and his commitment to getting involved in this role that he's taken on at Dunfermline has been fantastic. He was still in America, that was where he was coaching recently and he was still there this time yesterday I believe or at least just over 24 hours ago and he jumped on the first plane last night and got here at 9 o'clock this morning with only a couple hours sleep on his body and that really shows the commitment that he's got to be involved with our club in the capacity that he is right now. So. I'm going to 100% get behind this new management duo of Stevie Crawford and Greg Shields. We have no option now. They are on rolling contracts, and which means in total that rolling contracts means that basically there is no kind of fixed term on it. Of course, it will probably be until the end of the season, no doubt, but there is no like permanent end date on it. It's not like when Alan Johnson was on a two-year deal, for example, and that had to run out in those two years. It's not like that rolling contract. It's more based on just... As you go, see how things are going, and if you want to cut your ties, you can cut your ties. So both of those 
Stevie Crawford and Greg Shields are on rolling contracts with the club and it's a nice refreshing thing as well because it means that we're not tied to a certain regime. If we want to change it, we can. And then the Jackie McNamara thing, whilst I'm a wee bit confused with the role in Hull at the moment, I think it will be a good kind of addition to the club because if it is more to do with the off-the-field stuff in terms of how we look at players and stuff like that from an outside perspective and also how the club is run, how the board can do things better, how the club can be run in a better nature, then that's all well and good because it'll improve our club no end. So the only important thing left to do is go up to Tannerice this Saturday and give this new management duo our full backing. Hopefully they can maybe sign a player or two in the next few weeks as well and just give us that new fresh blood into the team that we wanted even when Alan Johnson was still in charge and then we can just see how it goes until the end of the season because there still is a lot to play for in this league despite how poor it's been so far. We're just four points off our playoff spot at the moment I think it is so we've got plenty of chances left and we need to now take advantage of that and give this team that we've got now and obviously the new management team their full backing and let them know how much we love this club and how much we want them to go on and succeed this season. It's a big change for Dunfermline this, we've never really went through a full football structure before, especially not in my time of course, we've just went for the usual first team manager etc etc. So it's exciting for me to even see this sort of thing happen in my own club and I'm excited that the club have actually thought of this as an innovative change and it'll be interesting to see how it all turns out. I've not even had a drink of this yet, so I might just have a drink of it right now. I just realised I've had it sat there as a wee prop and I've not even touched it, so... Ah, refreshing. Like the new change at Dunfermline. But aye, as I said, that's it for this video, so cheers for watching. If you did enjoy, please give it a like. Comment down below what you think about the new football structure. Have you fully understood it yet? Or are you just looking to get behind the new management team as much as you possibly can and see how it goes from there? And also subscribe for more of this type of content. Just hit 780 subscribers, 800 is the next target. And until the next video, which will be the video tomorrow, looking at the game at Tannadice this weekend, I'll see you then. Cheers, guys.